Good evening. Good evening and welcome to the 92nd Clayfield College Speech Night. Please stand for the beginning of the celebration and remain standing until after the national anthem. As we gather here today, we would like to acknowledge with thanksgiving the traditional custodians of the land upon which we stand. Firstly, the Turuba people from the north side of the river, and secondly, the Jagara people from the south side of the river. We would also like to pay our respects to the elders of an indigenous people, past, present, and future, for they hold the memories, the traditions, the culture, and the hopes of indigenous Australia. Please remain standing for the national anthem.
be seated. Please allow me to lead us in prayer. Let us pray. Gracious God, we come before you tonight with humble hearts and gratitude for your faithfulness and grace. You are the source of all that is good and we praise you for all that you have given us. Thank you for this celebration where we can showcase the talents, skills and achievements of our students. We ask your blessing upon all our students and upon all those who nurture and enrich their lives. We are grateful for families and teachers who have engaged with them intellectually, morally and spiritually. Bless all the families of our college. Help parents and caregivers to provide homes filled with kindness and peace. We pray for our staff whose inspiration and commitment to our college is one of excellence in education and well-being. Enable them to draw upon your wisdom as they shape young minds to respond to the issues and concerns of the future. Almighty God, may tonight bring us joy and inspire us to lives which build a compassionate and hope-filled community. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.
Wow, wasn't that fabulous? Pretty hard act to follow, actually. Uh, good evening, Clayfield College community. My name is Catherine O'Sullivan. I'm the chair of the Clayfield College Advisory Council. And I have the pr privilege tonight of welcoming you all here to celebrate the Clayfield College Speech Night in our 91st year as we count down towards the 100. It seems to be getting closer. I too would like to start by acknowledging the traditional custodians of the land on which we stand, the Turrbal peoples from the north side of the river, the Yagara peoples of the south side of the river, and pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging. I would particularly like to extend an especially warm welcome to our special guests this evening, Mrs. Margaret Berry, Deputy Chair of the PMSA Board, Mr. Shane Copen, CEO of the PMSA, Reverend John Gilmore, Minister of the Clayfield Presbyterian Church, Reverend Andrew Gunton, Moderator of the Uniting Church in Queensland, Dr. Tanya Jardine, Chair of the Clayfield College Old Collegians Association, the OCA Executive Committee and members of the Clayfield College Old Collegians Association. Mr. Nick Vincent, Chair of the Clayfield College Foundation and the Clayfield College Foundation Directors. Mrs. Ray Morris, President of the Clayfield College Parents and Friends Association, the PNF Executives Committee, member of the PNF support groups and members of the PNF. Mrs. Carolyn Hoff AM, former Clayfield College principal and patroness of the Col Clayfield College Old Collegians Association. Sorry. Mr. Tim Nichols, MP, state member for Clayfield, shadow attorney general, shadow minister for justice and shadow minister for CBD activation. Mrs. Sandra McCulloch, my predecessor as chair of the College Council, significant college donors and prize donors, PMSA executive directors, my fellow members of the Clayfield College Council, Mr. Jamie Sutherland and Mr. Steve Wilkins, our college principal, Dr. Andrew Cousins, deputy principals, Mrs. Audrey Fellows, Ms. Lakshmi Mohan, the members of the senior leadership team, staff and students, family, community members and friends of the school. I would also like to acknowledge apologies and best wishes from a number of old collegians and donors who were unable to attend tonight, including Mrs. Wendy Grummet, guardian of the Clayfield College Old Collegians. I think that's all the tongue twisters out of the road. Welcome, everyone. Well, what a delight it is to be here this evening to celebrate the achievements of the Clayfield College senior school students. This year, they have yet again demonstrated resilience in another challenging year, and tonight we, we celebrate their excellence. I've written here that you will enjoy performances from our talented musical ensembles, but obviously we've already seen the benchmark of the excellence that we'll be indulged with through the evening. We will welcome our Year 6 students who are becoming part of the senior school community, and we will bid farewell to our outstanding class of 2022. Speech night is always a highlight of the school calendar for me. I've had the pleasure of attending many over the years, as a teacher, a principal, a board member, and as a mother. And on each occasion, I have always had cause to reflect on the joy that these events bring. The bringing together of the school community, the celebration of the year that has been, the grit, the endeavor shown by all of our students. And importantly, these nights are always an opportunity to stop, reflect, and give thanks. And we have much to be thankful for. Tonight, we can all join together again and celebrate the achievements of the wonderful students and staff that fill Clayfield College. We all know it takes a village to raise a child and the members of that village are vitally important to a school community. Thank you to the parents, the caregivers, the community members, as you continue to put your faith in us and contribute so meaningfully to the school to enable your child's light to shine. We greatly appreciate your support, your passion, your contributions, and most of all, the fact that you are here and present. 
How about a round of applause for all of the parents here tonight? That's just a warm up for the number of times that you'll be doing it. To the outstanding talents of the teaching staff, the volunteers and the dedication of the entire executive administration team, thank you so much for your efforts. I know you've heard me give this quote before from Nelson Mandela, but it truly captures my philosophy of a successful education. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God and your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine. Speech nights are about celebration, recognition and gratitude and tonight we will shine the light on the students to recognise and give thanks to them for they have embraced their brilliance, their talents and their gifts from God. Tonight marks a very special milestone for us all and in particular for the class of 2022. May you reflect on all you have achieved and contributed to during your 13 years of schooling. As you prepare to embark on your next stage in life's journey, know that Clayfield College will always be open to you and we are looking forward to hearing your stories of adventure. To the Year 6 students moving to senior school, this is a wonderful maturing of your educational journey. May you embrace all that the senior school has to offer you. And to those students who are receiving an award tonight, congratulations. It is an honour and a privilege to recognise your hard work, dedication and achievements. As we celebrate tonight, I encourage each of you to give thanks and reflect. How might your light shine? It is our deepest fear that we are powerful beyond measure. As a, community, as a community, Clayfield College is here to support you to let your light shine. So once again, I extend my warmest welcome to you all and please enjoy tonight's Clayfield Speech Night. Thank you.
If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. This African proverb catches the heart of, what, of how we do things at Clayfield, together as a team. Margaret Berry, Shane Coppin, Catherine O'Sullivan and members of the Clayfield College Advisory Council, Nick Vincent and Clayfield College Foundation Directors, Dr Dan Tanya Jardine and members of the Old Collegians Association, Ray Morris and the members of the PNF, invited and distinguished guests, colleagues, students, parents and members of the wider Clayfield College community. It is my honour and privilege to provide the 2022 Speech Night Principles Address. Several years ago, designer and engineer Peter Skillman held a competition to understand why certain groups add up to be greater than the sum of their parts, while others add up to be less. The challenge he used was simple. In teams of four, build the tallest tower using 20 pieces of uncooked spaghetti, one metre of sticky tape, one metre of string and a standard size marshmallow. There was only one rule, the marshmallow had to end up on top. The teams comprised of participants who were either university students or kindergarten students. The teams made up of university students conversed, developed strategies, examined the material carefully, tossed the ideas back and forth, generated options and eventually decided on one option to pursue and started building. The kindergarten students took a different approach. They didn't strategize, analyze or share their experiences. They didn't ask questions, pose options or hone ideas. They talked very little and stood very close together. From their tight huddle, the occasional short burst of here, no here, could be heard. Their entire technique could at best be described as trying a bunch of stuff together. So which team built the tallest structure? In dozens of trials, the kindergarten students built structures that averaged 65 centimetres tall, whilst the university student structures averaged 25 centimetres. How is this possible? What this competition highlighted is that it was the interaction rather than the individual skill that mattered. It reinforces the concept that group culture is one of the most powerful forces on the planet. So whilst the actions of the kindergarten students appeared disorganised on the surface, they succeeded because they genuinely worked together. Rather than being concerned about who was in charge, if it was okay to criticise someone's idea and, and work out the rules, they got on with the job, shoulder to shoulder, moving quickly, spotting problems and offering help. Together they experimented, took risks, noticed effective solutions. The way they connected was smart and it enabled them to tap into a performance far beyond the sum of their parts. We are at our best when we work as a team and we are, when we are connected by a common goal. In the words of Brené Brown, connection is the energy that exists between people when they feel seen, heard and valued, when they can give and receive without judgement and when they derive sustenance and strength from the relationship. At Clayfield, as we create together a place to learn, belong and experience, 2022 has provided many opportunities to huddle closely, move quickly and develop solutions together. In the words of K-pop band BTS, we have set the light at night, so we have set the night alight, shining through the city with a little funk and soul as we light it up like dynamite. It's hard to believe that it's only 12 months since we announced the college would be transitioning to a fully co-educational school from 2023. What a year it has been for the Clayfield family. Since the announcement, we have hosted 800 people on our principal and head of primary-led tours, welcomed 120 families on personal tours of the college, received 650 new enrolment application, which translates to a 250% increase compared to last year and a 510% increase compared to 2020. Made the decision to move two streams in our primary school from prep to five for next year, with waiting lists in pre-prep, prep and year one for 2023 launched a new uniform for boys and girls, continued to build momentum on our refresh and refurbish pro programs throughout the college, and celebrated and supported the transition of our first co-educational year seven cohort into our secondary school. And we are so pleased that some of the new families can join us this evening. I'm incredible, great, incredibly grateful for parents and students who over the year have provided feedback as part of the MMG review. This ongoing feedback is a critical part of informing our common goal. What we have heard from you is that we're doing okay, with you giving us an overall very high rating and an average satisfaction score of 91%. Where 90% of participants noted their expectations were met or exceeded in relation to the quality of teaching. 
93% of participants noticed their expectations were met or exceeded in relation to the focus on student wellbeing and providing a safe and caring environment. 97% of participants noted their expectations were met or received in relation to receiving a balanced education. And 90% of participants noted their expectations were met or exceeded in relation to the leadership of the college. This feedback also reinforced the importance of experiences that sit beyond the classroom and echoes the numerous recent studies which found that schooling is much more than what happens in the classroom. Amongst other initiatives, the college was the recipient of two independent school Queensland project grants which supported a focus on an educational data program targeting literacy and numeracy and a staff professional development program exploring areas of feedback, feed forward and formative assessment. During the year, we have also implemented the Educator Pulse Impact Program, where data is collected through a weekly student survey to ensure that our care at Clayfield Framework provides students with a wellbeing program that is responsive, targeted and individualised. It has been a year of defining moments as together we write the next chapter for Clayfield College. Throughout the year, there have been countless moments that have risen above the everyday, which have created the opportunity to rewire our understanding of the world around us, and at times ourselves, as we strive to ensure we always show up as the best versions of ourselves and share our experiences through the connections with others. Looking back on the year that was, there have been many, many of these defining moments that have drawn us closer together as a community as we celebrate, support, and at times console each other. From the delayed start to the year and the fluid event calendar to the result of the QG Cross Country Championships and the return of Jazz on the Green, we have come together as a connected community. This connection has been epitomised by the grit, determination and flair demonstrated by the class of 2022. Ladies, ladies, I take my hat off to each and every one of you for the way that you have ridden, ridden the roller coaster of the last three years. What a ride it has been. I particularly acknowledge Alice and Mia for your leadership, your vision and your initiative. It is through your guidance that we have pushed everyone to think deeply about what it means to be a leader of connection. It is so wonderful that we can come together tonight as a community to create another moment as we celebrate academic excellence, sporting triumphs, world-class music making, reflect on how important it is to be of service and pass the light of student leadership. The real engine room that creates the environment every day to make these defining moments possible and ensure that the light shines brightly in every student are our amazing staff. They do light it up like dynamite every time they walk into a classroom, pick up a baton or a whistle, take a family on an enrolment tour or organise an event. We are so incredibly blessed at Clayfield to have a team of dedicated, professional and thoughtful staff who support, extend, nurture and genuinely care about ensuring that every student is known, valued and understood. If I could ask for the house lights to come up, please. Can I please ask the staff in the hall and in the wings to stand or come out on stage and can you please join with me in thanking them? Don't be shy, up we stand. I particularly acknowledge the members of the senior leadership team, Deputy Principal Audrey Fellows, Deputy Principal Lakshmi Mohan, Head of Boarding Catherine Searle, Chaplain Reverend Paul Yarrow and Director of Marketing Communications and Engagement Stuart Charlton. Thank you for your vision, commitment, support and friendship. I would also like to thank and recognise the PMSA Board, PMSA Group Office and members of the Clayfield College Advisory Council. I particularly thank Advisory Council Chair Catherine O'Sullivan for her drive for community engagement and ambassadorship as she leads our council, and the PMSA CEO Shane Coppen, whose advocacy, support and energy for Clayfield have been a key ingredient in our success in 2022. I also take this opportunity to thank and acknowledge Nick Vincent as the Clayfield College Foundation Chair and John Robbins as the past president of the PNF, both of whose daughters are graduating this year. We might just have the lights up again, please, if that's OK. Um, Nick, thank you for your passion and commitment in your guidance of the Clayfield Foundation. Your leadership has enhanced and revitalised Clayfield as a place to learn and experience through the investment in capital work projects, opportunities of excellence, with the annual appeal this year raising over $311,000. Thank you, Nick.
John, thank you for your energy and commitment, your leadership over the last seven years, first as primary support group chair and then as PNF president, which has seen significant constitutional changes to ensure that the PNF is current in governance, champions at friend and fundraising and provided a wonderful forum for all parents to be part of the Clayfield journey. Your leadership has always had the advancement of Clayfield as the central focus, as together we develop a place where every member of our community belongs. Thank you, John. Thank you to all the parents who have chosen Clayfield. It's such an honour to walk alongside you on the journey, the, learning of, the journey of learning. To the members of the PNF and the Friends of Groups, to the old collegians and the Foundation Board, thank you for your patience, understanding and ongoing effort during 2022. I particularly acknowledge the members of the Old Collegians Association who, as we approach this historic year for Clayfield College, have provided the critical lens as we collectively develop the future. I'm particularly grateful for your guidance, candour and support as we reimagine the school uniform. As part of this reimagination, we have actually created an old collegian scarf, a little bit of Clayfield to hold close to your heart wherever your journey may take you. This scarf will, for the first time, be presented to the class of 2022 on Friday at their final assembly, but I felt it only appropriate that tonight we present the first of these old, old collegian scarves to the patroness of the Old Collegians Association, Mrs Carolyn Huff AM, Guardian of the Old Collegians Association, Deidre Brandon, and President of the Old Collegians Association, Dr Tanya Jardine. Can you please acknowledge the Old Collegians Association? <laughs> Finally, I thank and welcome Julie Parianos, who has joined the college only a few months ago, but has ensured the principal's office has never missed a beat. And I thank my wife, Joanne, for her unwavering support of me and this school. So as we reflect on 2022 and consider how we can harness the innocent risk-taking behaviour, meaningful interaction and the power for connection of a huddled group of kindergarten students, as together we create an outstanding future for our wonderful college, I wish to recognise five students who exemplify the importance of teamwork, connection and service. I invite Alice Gardner, Ava Gilbert, Hannah MacDonald, Isabella Robinson and Dimity Whittaker to the stage. These five remarkable women, whom we know as Allegria Strings Quintet, have during the year performed countless gigs across Queensland, from the Cairns Music Tour to the Opera Queensland Gala Dinner and the Gundawindi Show, from enrolment tours to the Wilston Preschool Fundraiser. During 2022, they've actually performed in excess of 50 gigs. Not only have they connected as a group of musicians, but in doing so, they have shown the world what Clayfield can do. They have proudly wore the blue, green and gold and in doing so have spread a powerful and positive message about what an amazing place Clayfield College is. In recognition of their effort, I have made the decision to award each of them a Principal's Award for Service. They have given the most precious gift of all to our school, their time. At the start of my speech, I said, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, together. In keeping with this idea of connection and teamwork to close tonight, I've asked Allegria Strings to help me out with just a little bit more of their time.
It is with great pleasure that I announce the 2022 awards for students in Year 7 to 9, and I invite Mr Cobbin, PMSA CEO, to present the prizes. Could I please ask that you reserve your applause until the end of each year level? Year seven. The M.M. Morrison and Jay Whitehead Cup for tennis doubles, 15 and under, Sarah McDonald. The Wagstar Family Cup for under 15 singles. The M.M. Morrison and Jay Whitehead Cup for tennis doubles, 15 and under, Sky Wilkins. The McCulloch Prize for Academic Resilience, Jing Lin Sham. The Shane Coppin Prize for Leadership and Resilience, Madison Fellows. The Christian Education Prize, Libby Sebastio. Academic Excellence Prize, Lola Burkett. Academic Excellence Prize, Dohi Lee. Academic Excellence Prize, Annabelle Lillycrap. <laughs> Academic Excellence Prize, Charlotte Strickland. Academic Excellence Prize, Ria Suchak. Academic Excellence Prize, Matilda Woodhead. Please join with me in congratulating our Year 7s. For Year 8, the Clayfield College Winter Fixture Shield for Volleyball, Michelle Easton. The McCulloch Prize for Academic Resilience, Yu Chen Yang. Academic Excellence Prize, Mimi Maguire. Academic Excellence Prize, Sachi Smith. Academic Excellence Prize, Lindsay Webb. Academic Excellence Prize, Lucha Wiggins. Academic Excellence Prize, Tara Wright. The Christian Education Prize and Academic Excellence Prize, Hannah Green. The Lois Southern Award for Literature, Academic Excellence Prize, the Carolyn Hoff All-Rounder Prize, Megan Groundwater. The Sally Ann Judge Shield for Junior Cross Country, the Harris Family Junior Swimming Trophy, Academic Excellence Prize, the Michael Forster Memorial Prize for Ethical and Honest Behaviour and School Spirit during her years at Clayfield College, Emma Costello. Please join with me in congratulating the Year 8.
For Year 9, the Sally McPhee Cup for Junior Freestyle, Marley Schwartz. The McCulloch Prize for Academic Resilience, Emily Makara. Academic Excellence Prize, Manidi Sherian. Academic Excellence Prize, Sophia Cornes. Academic Excellence Prize, Summer Griffiths. Academic Excellence Prize, Megan Guthrie Quinn. Academic Excellence Prize, Poppy Ho. Academic Excellence Prize, Georgia Johnston. Academic Excellence Prize, Grace Webb. The Middle Years Music Prize and Academic Excellence Prize, Caitlin Southwell. The Len Wilson Prize for Middle Years Visual Art and Academic Excellence Prize, Tiani Tyler. The Christian Education Prize and Academic Excellence Prize, Olivia Cullen. The Reverend John and Dee Gilmore Prize and Academic Excellence Prize, Federica Patelli. The Daphne Lolita Passion Prize for Middle Years Sport, the Reverend W.C. Radcliffe Memorial Ed Encouragement Prize, and an Academic Excellence Prize, Mia Gia. The Marissa Fitton Memorial Prize for Drama, the Marissa Fitton Memorial Prize for Conscientious Effort in Science, and an Academic Excellence Prize, Charlotte Lay. Please join with me in congratulating the United. Good evening, Dr. Cousins and Mrs. Cousins, PMSA CEO, Mr. Coppin, and members of the PMSA, special guests, staff of the college, parents, caregivers, and students. It is with great pride that Mir and I speak to you this evening as college captains for 2022. 2022, Clayful College's 91st year has been a remarkable year in many ways, both as a college community and on a global stage. 2022 has undoubtedly brought challenges, we started our year with online learning and welcomed students virtually. Many of us were severely affected by flooding, but then in February, Russia invaded Ukraine and suddenly, no matter what our personal problems, we all felt fortunate. Sometimes we need bigger problems to make us reevaluate our priorities, to make us see the many blessings that are right in front of us. So 2022 has also been a year of many blessings and great optimism. For Clayford College, it has been a year of anticipation and excitement. We are excited by the prospect of transitioning to a co-educational school from 2023 and the new uniforms that have been meticulously designed. We are thrilled by the exceptional increase in enrolment inquiries and prospective growth of our college. And we take pride in our many achievements. Like always, we punch well above our weight. 2022 has also been a time of deep reflection for Mia and I 
and has taught us many lessons both within the classroom and outside of it. Everybody doesn't have the power to prevent global conflict or cure a pandemic, but we can all reach out to each other and help each other in small ways. We all have the power to connect to each other. That was what our 2022 theme, Leaders of Connection, was all about. It was not about lavish events or grand gestures, but about seeing the bigger picture. It was about small acts of kindness we can all do every day to make all of our lives better. It was about remembering what sets us apart as a community, that we are a school with a big heart. It is in representing this compassionate community, a community rooted in values that our pride lies. Under the banner of Leaders of Connection, Alice and I are immensely proud of how the college has flourished throughout 2022. The scene was set early in term one as secondary students wrote a pledge of connection that was made into a green, gold and blue paper chain. This spirit has continued and was reiterated with the creation of our connection letterbox that saw over 70 kind and encouraging letters written within the first two weeks. In 2022, Clayfield students have united to serve others, understand their needs and shine a light during troubling times. Our house charities have supported seven different causes, along with raising money for birthing kits, cutting our ponytails, and celebrating International Women's Day. As Alice mentioned, it's often the small acts that can speak the loudest. So, Clayfield College has redefined the modern day definition of connection, where we don't require Wi-Fi, fast internet, or the cloud. Our connection can be defined as the energy that exists between people when they feel seen, heard and valued. Between opus concerts, jazz on the green, STEM clubs and sport, we've seen our school colours be worn with pride, heard music be performed with passion and felt valued within our community. This is why we're here, seeing, hearing and valuing all that has been achieved by our girls and boys. Alice and I stand here tonight as two incredibly proud Clayford College students and it is with great humility that we have led this college alongside our graduating class of 2022. We would like to sincerely thank Dr. Cousins, Mrs. Fellows, Mrs. Mohan, Reverend Yarrow, Mr. Desmar Chalier, and the entire teaching staff for their endless support. We will be forever thankful for this opportunity and our connection to this college is everlasting. Thank you.
gives me great pleasure to announce the 2022 awards for students in years 10 and 11. I invite Mrs. Catherine O'Sullivan, Chair of the Clayfield College Advisory Council, to present the awards. I request that you hold your applause till the end of each year level. The Clayfield College 1980 Winter Fixture Perpetual Shield for Netball and the Clayfield College Touch Trophy, Jasmine Barnett. The Junior Athletics Cup and the Diane Perro Cup for High Jump, Danielle Jones. The McCullough Prize for Academic Resilience, Arissa Kuwahara. The Confucius Institute Prize for Chinese, She Shun Gai. The Christian Education Prize, Sophie Lloyd. The Christian Education Prize and the Carol Berry Spanish Prize, Arwen Abad. Academic Excellence Prize, Kiki Bell. Academic Excellence Prize, Elise Castle. Academic Excellence Prize, Hannah Costello. Academic Excellence Prize, Man Hei Jung. The Chris Moody Brand Audits Visual Art Prize and an Academic Excellence Prize, Caitlin Pett. The Louise Sullivan Trophy for Gymnastics, the ACU Prize for Business and Enterprise, and an Academic Excellence Prize, Roxy Bonn. The Long Tan Award for Leadership and Teamwork, the ADF Future Innovators Award, an Academic Excellence Prize, and the Ida Kennedy Bursary for a student who is considered to have best exemplified our school motto in her significant contribution to the life of the school, Dimity Whittaker. Please congratulate our year 10 prize winners. Year 11, the Harris Family Senior Swimming Trophy, Meg Olson. The Haddock Family Football Trophy and the Margaret Thatcher Cup for Open Tennis Doubles, Chloe Wilkins. the Whedon Cup for Senior Athletics, and the Sally Ann Gudd Shield for Senior Cross Country, Layla Johnson. The J.G. Rackley Memorial Cup for Open Butterfly, and the Barbara Petty Cup for Open Backstroke, Poppy Stephen. The Axial Training Vocational Studies Prize, Sophie Gleason. The 
Christian Education Prize, Daniela Whale. The Jane O'Sullivan Prize for Drama, Lydia Brumpton. The Essential English Prize, Stacy Falau. The Essential Mathematics Prize, Amy O'Sullivan. The General Mathematics Prize, Olivia Mears. The Psychology Prize, Olivia Somariba. The Margaret Thatcher Cup for Open Tennis Doubles and the Malcolm McDougall Prize for Physics, Kate Jardine. The Jan Monroe Cup for Open Freestyle, the McCullough Prize for Academic Resilience, and the Confucius Institute Prize for Chinese, Laura Poon. The Digital Solutions Prize for Year 12, and the Spanish Prize, Jasmine Fraser, in her absence. The Letitia Grigoriev Prize for Modern History and the Physical Education Prize, Charlie's Clark Daglish. Academic Excellence Prize, Chuk Q Ng. The McInnes Wilson Legal Studies Prize and an Academic Excellence Prize, Charlotte Hasty. The Clayfield College Winter Fixture Shield for Hockey and the George C. Reed Memorial Bursary for a student of Scottish descent awarded for character, leadership, sporting and scholastic achievements, Kate Lennon. the ACU Business School Prize for Business, the Specialist Mathematics Prize, and an Academic Excellence Prize, Georgina Hawkins McCarthy. The Rotary Club of Hamilton Prize for Engagement, Service, and Effort, the Bicentennial Incentive Prize for Visual Art, the Joan Ricketts Memorial Visual Art Prize and an Academic Excellence Prize, Abigail Carr. The Biology Prize, the Jennifer Anderson Memorial Prize for Chemistry, the English Prize, the Beryl Gridley Prize for Class Music and an Academic Excellence Prize, Hannah MacDonald. the Presbyterian Church Moderators Prize for ISCF, the Colin Mark Ashburn Memorial Prize for Geography, the Mathematical Methods Prize, an Academic Excellence Prize, and the Kathy Bishop Prize for Academic Achievement, Rachel Walsh. Please congratulate our 11 prize winners.
I'm delighted to announce the 2022 awards for students in year 12. I invite Mrs. Margaret Berry, PMSA Board Deputy Chair, to present the awards. I ask again that you hold your applause till all students have been presented with their prizes. The Clayfield College Cricket Trophy, Abby Harris in her absence. The Colin Miller Trophy for Gymnastics, Layla Bacon. The Jolliffe Family Gymnastics Trophy, Alyssa Clarkson. The Amor Cup for Individual Open Medley, the Trent Halliday Perpetual Trophy, and the June Lock Cup for Open Breaststroke, Tiana Kritzinger. Boarding Captain's Prize, Isa Darling Passy. Boarding Captain's Prize, Ella Jane Ravenscroft. Community Service Captain's Prize, Yasmin Caves. House Captain's Prize, Mia Anderson. House Captain's Prize, Cassidy Beeman. House Captain's Prize, Grace Hinneberg. House Captain's Prize, Demi Ann Klosek. House Captain's Prize, Ka Ki Wong. Sport Captain's Prize, Mackenzie Robbins. Community Service Captain's Prize and the Uniting Church Moderators Award, Alina Cairns. The RACI Certificate for Excellence in Chemistry, Jing Wen Liu. The Thatcher Trophy for Open Tennis Singles and the RACI Certificate for Excellence in Chemistry, Charlotte Sims. The Westpac Bank Prize for Ancient History, Georgia Watterson. The McInnes Wilson Prize for Legal Studies, Man Hua Chen. The Visual Art Prize, Chuan Ming Zheng. The Judy Johnson Senior School Music Prize and the Ampol All-Rounder Prize, Constance Crowther. House Captain's Prize and the McInnes Wilson Sport Encouragement Prize, Ellie McGuire. The RACI Certificate for Excellence in Chemistry and the Spanish Prize, Alexandra Petrenko. House Captain's Prize and the McInnes Wilson Prize for Legal Studies, Cadence Thorne. House Captain's Prize and the RACI Certificate for Excellence in Chemistry, Hoi Ying Ao.
the Badminton Trophy, and the Reg Bellingham Memorial Prize for Accounting, Ziaoyu Ho. The Isabel Maslin Memorial Prize for Music Captain, the Encouragement Prize for Strings, and the Schulte Family Prize for Music Extension, Ava Gilbert. House Captain's Prize, the ACU Business School Prize for Business, and the General Mathematics Prize, Olivia Purse. Sport Captain's Prize, the Long Tan Award for Leadership and Teamwork, the Clayfield College Softball Trophy, and the Physical Education Prize, Jacqueline Buchanan. House Captain's Prize, the Andrea Moore Cup, the John Earnshaw Prize for Work, Sport, and Leadership, and the Psychology Prize, Ella Wilkins. House Captain's Prize, the RACI Certificate for Excellence in Chemistry, the Reverend Samuel George Monroe Mem Memorial Prize for Leadership, Character, and Scholastic Effort, and the Tim Nichols Prize for Geography, Emma Sanders. Chapel Captain's Prize, the RACI Certificate for Excellence in Chemistry, the English as an Additional Language Prize, and the City Smart Prize for the most academically successful international student, Wing Ching Lao. Chapel Captain's Prize, the RACI Certificate for Excellence in Chemistry, the Michael Foster Memorial Prize for Ethical and Honest Behavior and School Spirit, and the Christian Education Prize, Jessica Homer. House Captain's Prize, the RACI Certificate for Excellence in Chemistry, the Japanese Prize, and the Margaret Wilson Prize for Modern History, Jennifer Lolbach. Academic Captain's Prize, the RACI Certificate for Excellence in Chemistry, the Physics Prize, and an Academic Excellence Prize, Kaylin Barry. The McCullough Prize for Academic Resilience, the Claire Clark Memorial Prize for Drama, the Essential English Prize, the Essential Mathematics Prize, and the Hamilton Ward Prize for Vocational Studies, Lily Vincent. The Nancy Young Prize for Music Captain, the Judy Johnson Senior School Music Prize, the Barber Sisters Prize for Outstanding and Consistent Effort, the RACI Certificate for Excellence in Chemistry, the Biology Prize, and the Bill Ellison Prize for English, Isabella Robinson. The PMSA College Captain's Prize, the ADF Future Innovators Award, the Sports Excellence Award, the RACI Certificate for Excellence in Chemistry, the Music Extension Prize, and the Nancy Ashburn pre Donner for the year 12 student who best exemplifies the spirit and values of Clayfield College through scholarship, leadership, exemplary conduct, involvement in many aspects of school life, and service to others, she truly lets her light shine, Mia Felsman. Academic Captain's Prize, the Debating Trophy, the RACI Certificate for Excellence in Chemistry, the Digital Solutions Prize, 
the Mathematical Methods Prize, the Specialist Mathematics Prize, and Academic Excellence Prize, the Gilmore Family Prize for a student who has strived by actions, words, and deeds to perpetuate and enhance the college's good name, and the prize for runner-up to Ducks of the College, Naisha Kapoor. the PMSA College Captain's Prize, the Wilson QC Brash QC Prize for a student who has demonstrated the character, determination, and tenacity to lead the way in her future, the RAC certifi RACI Certificate for Excellence in Chemistry, the Irish Family Prize for Music, the Jennifer Anderson Memorial Prize for Chemistry, the Confucius Prize for Chinese, the Margaret Ann Kerrison Memorial Prize for Class Music, an Academic Excellence Prize, and Ducks of the College, Alice Gardner. Please congratulate our year 12 students.
may I invite all current year sixes from the audience and musicians who are with us here tonight, who will be joining Clayfield College in 2023 to please line up by our side of stage. At Clayfield College, we live by our motto, let your light shine. We maintain the light by creating an inclusive community and progressive educational environment where we prepare and educate each of our students to achieve his or her personal best. The significance of our motto is found in Matthew Chapter 5, verse 16. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. As the primary years end for our Year 6 students, I would like to take this opportunity to thank them for their leadership of the primary school and wish them well as they begin their secondary school journey in 2023. Next year, we begin our exciting transition to co-education for students entering Year 7. In this historic event for Clayfield College, I am delighted to welcome to the stage this evening the Year 6 students who will be beginning with us in Year 7 2023, including those who will be new to Clayfield College and are able to be with us here tonight. We are thrilled to welcome uh, some of our families who have travelled all the way from Gundawindi for this presentation. Their Year 7 badge will be presented to them by Mrs Carolyn Hoff, former Principal of Clayfield College, and Dr. Tanya Jardine, President of the Old Collegians Association. Could I ask you to please reserve your applause until the end. Lillian Child. Georgiana Cousins. Lilia Land in her absence, Leon Ong. <laughs> Kyra Bray. Yara Caves. Eva Creighton in her absence, Eliana Cullen, Isis De La Cruz, Lulu Dryden, Angelina Esposito. Ruby Exman. Luca Gout. Victoria Haywood. Alina Henriksen in her absence. Jai Hudson.
Rupert Hungerford Symes. Thomas Hungerford Symes. Addison James in her absence. Savannah Kapoor. Finn Latimer. Daniel Nam. Finami Lilasani. Sebastian Mackay. Joshua Matthew. Tony Mee. Lily Moore. Eduardo Patelli. Chloe Phillips. Senye Q in her absence, Scarlett Railton in her absence. Spring Reeves, in her absence. Riley Scott, in her absence. Chase Sherman, in his absence. Isabel Slater, we have one. <laughs> Olivia Solomon. Mary Sprout in her absence. Chloe Warburton in her absence. Evelyn Wells. Elodie Whitaker. Sam Wilden. Nanako Yasui. Vera Zhang. Jason Zhang. Let's welcome our first co ed sevens for twenty twenty three.
It gives me great pleasure to introduce to you the student leaders for 2023. Our Ashburn House Captains, Chuck Q Ng and Amy O'Sullivan. Campbell House Captains, Jessica O'Brien and Poppy Stephen. Gibson House Captains, Laura Poon and Olivia Somariba. Henderson House Captains, Layla Johnson and Ellie Robinson. Radcliffe House Captains, Lydia Brumpton and Charlotte Hasty. Youngman House Captains, Sophie Gleason and Daniela Whale. Sports Captains, Charlize Clark Dugleish and Chloe Wilkins. Creative Arts and Culture Captains, Kate Lennon and Sophia Peter. Boarding Captains, Juliana Bree Talbot Cook and Allegra Pollock. Academic Captains, Meg Olson and Georgina Hawkins McCarthy. Chapel Captains, Helene Pulu and Rachel Walsh. And College Captains, Abigail Carr and Kate Jardine. Let us acknowledge together our student leaders. We now come to the ceremony where we celebrate the symbolic handing over of the leadership roles, which was first introduced by Mrs Ida Kennedy from our current leaders to the leaders of 2023. and the light of Jesus Christ, our Saviour and friend. This the light has been passed down through the years by the grace of God, through the family of our college, in loyalty and service, in caring and truth, through church and home. You have been chosen to lead the students of our college for the coming year. Exemplifying the college motto, let your light shine, Will you take this light and pass it on to future generations of our college? And will you accept the responsibility to keep the light of God shining brightly in our college family? We will. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Jesus also said, you are the light of the world. Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. With Christ as our hope and sustainer, we will lead with commitment, confidence, courage and compassion. We pass to you the stalls of office for chapel captains of Clayfield College. They are symbols to remind you of the high calling that is yours in exercising the Christian leadership in the college community. They are also a reminder for all that our college is based upon and guided by the Christian faith. We will wear these stoles with honour and in all things and at all times seek to serve Jesus Christ in word and in deed. Through our leadership and daily living, we commit ourselves to proclaiming his saving grace.
We will now join in singing the college hymn. We ask that all collegians and current staff and students stand for the first verse. The rest of the audience is invited to join them for the remaining three verses. twistings of the road, in the winding of the path, by day and by night, may the peace of God be in us, the grace of God flow through us, and the love of God be in all that we do. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon us this night and always. Amen. Please be seated as we welcome our Year 12s to the stage. We welcome and congratulate our seniors who will be graduating later this week. Mia Anderson. Vivian Au. Layla Bacon. Kaylin Barry. Cassidy Beeman. Jacqueline Buchanan. Katie Burge. Yasmin Caves, Erica Chan, Olivia Chan, Alyssa Clarkson, Annabelle Collins in her absence, Tara Coote, Constance Crowther, Heidi Dodds, Mia Felsman, Matilda Fenn, Michaela Frerichs, Alice Gardner, Ava Gilbert, Claire Guthrie Quinn, Abby Harris in her absence, Grace Hinneberg, Jessica Homer, Crystal Howe, Ming Jiang, Naisha Kapoor, Elena Kearns, D. 
Demi-Ann Klosek. Tiana Kritzinger. Yuki Kubota. Zoe Lau. Cece Liu. Jennifer Lolbach. Ellie Maguire. Ella Montgomery. Isa Darling Passy. Shaney Pearson. Olivia Purse. Sasha Petrenko. Ella Jane Ravenscroft. Mackenzie Robbins. Isabella Robinson. Charlie Rose. Emma Sanders. Trisha Sharma. Charlotte Sims. Jemima Stone. In her absence. Cadence Thorne. Lily Vincent. Georgia Waterson. Ella Wilkins. And Sierra Wong. Please join me in congratulating our seniors. Would you please stand for the recessional as we honour our graduating year 12s.